Hey, oh shoot, <laughs> I was just going to show you something that had disappeared. Anyway, what I'm trying to show you is I've got, and I don't have a pointer. Where's Mr. Finger when you need him? Oh, okay, I'm going to get another pointer. Okay, I can't, whoops, I can't see where the camera is pointing right now. Go oh, crash. Oh. My 8 by 10 office is down to like a 4 foot square. <laughs> so full. Anyway, I have, if the camera is pointing to it, I have the RTLSDR.com antenna right there. I have the two short antennas, sections or pieces, and I've got them completely collapsed. And I'm trying to receive the transceivers on aircraft and they operate up at 1.09 gigahertz so they're way up there. and I, let me see if i can move this for a second right here is the antenna i used to use that's all i had the shortest antenna i had for uh, an sdr that had a connector for an sdr so that's what i used to use i'm going to try to compare these two antennas and oh on the screen now I have and let me get underneath the camera I have right now this aircraft that's the aircraft the feathers from me that I've ever received it's um, it's up near Inverness which line of sight is probably 75 miles I'm gonna say that's the furthest I've re ever received. Now, keep in mind, when you're receiving frequencies that high, it's basically line of sight. So if the antenna can't see the transmitter, it's not going to hear it, so to speak. And I'm, on, I'm in my office, which is on the second story. There is a window um, close by it's I don't know where the camera's pointing but it's over that way I don't know if it's in the frame or not let me just kind of scan there's a window there now I've lost where the antenna is um, so what I'm going to do is this is connected to right now it's connected to the rtl-sdr.com antenna and it's that's connected to my SDR Play 1. I'm using that because that's the only thing I have set up in my office. I don't have the RTL-SDR.com um, dongle set up here. And the software I'm using is for the RSP Play. It's not for a general d dongle. It's just That's just what I've got set up right now. So you can see I'm still tracking that aircraft up here. Now this is just where the symbol is, but the aircraft is right here. Now I'm going to I'm going to try to switch antennas. Oop, it just dropped off. Now that it's been doing that, but now it's dropped off, and this is why this is kind of difficult because things are dynamic and they're changing. Oh, came back. The question is, when I switch over to the other antenna, what happens? So I'm going to try to switch over to the other antenna right now. Take me a few seconds. Uh, thank goodness this antenna kit includes this extension cable. Otherwise, this other antenna wouldn't reach down to my desktop. So right now, I've switched antennas. It'll take it a little while to catch up on the program. So we'll see um, what happens here. And it's, yep, so okay, I've lost it now, and I've been losing it, so that's not a big deal yet. The question is, will it come back? Now I'm going to switch over so you're going to see my recording software so I can see where the camera is pointing. Okay, the camera is still pointing up there. And get this out of the way for a second. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but the antenna it's on now is, where the heck, I can't even see the ruler, is right there. Let's 
it's right there. It's about ooh, eight or nine inches long. It's a little long. It's too long for that frequency. And then, of course, I'll point to it again. There is the other antenna on the little tripod. Now, this is on a tripod, so it has no ground plane, so to speak. The other antenna, buried back here, um, is sitting on top of a metal bookcase. So it does have that ground plane. Now, it's magnetic, so it's not a hard connection, so to speak. So let's go back. I'll get, me get this out of your way. And that other aircraft is not coming back. So now, the furthest I'm seeing, and let me move this up a little bit. So I'm not going to see too much. I'm, I'm surprised I'm seeing as much as I am. I'm not going to see too much mouth <laughs> south. Um, and you can see I got a lot of aircraft north, which is where the window is, is on the north side of the house. So let's kind of come down here. And we've got, right now, we've got an aircraft, this right here is up at Spring Hill, near Spring Hill. I'm going to switch the antenna back and see if that other aircraft comes back or one further away. Now, we do have one, surprisingly enough, way over here. That's quite a distance. I'm here, right here. I'm right here. That's quite a distance there and here. And so we don't have too many north. Okay, we're, I can say this is kind of kludgy at best. So we're going to switch antennas again. Switch back to the rtl-sdr.com. It's hard for me to say. Antenna. And it will take it a few seconds to oops, update display. Sorry if you're seeing the back of my head. Okay, now I'm back on the... RTL-SDR.com antenna, and let's see. We had this at Spring Hill. I don't remember that one being there on the other antenna. Can we see if anything comes up here? It's probably that aircraft is probably too far away now. Let's give it a few seconds. No, it looks like that aircraft is is totally gone out of the picture. Um, and it was probably, it was marginal before, even with the, I'll call it the better antenna. That's a lot shorter to say. Um, before, it was, that aircraft was there and not there, there and not there. So I am, what I'm going to do now is, whoops, that one, that one dropped out over here. I'm going to track this one right here. Don't know if I can. I don't know if this software will keep it locked onto that particular aircraft or not. So I'm going to use that as my example and track it and switch antennas back and forth and see if I lose it or get it back. Again, this is pretty kludgy here. A lot of Ooh, there's another one that popped in. He's even further north. You know, I've got the antennas are in slightly different places, and there's a lot of variables here. So right now I'm on the um, RTL-SDR antenna. And I'm still tracking those two aircraft. Now, I'm going to switch over now and see if they go away. Like I said, you know, bear with me. This is not what you call a controlled scientific. And I just knocked the antenna down. I pulled on it. And it fell down. The, this one right here. You can probably see in the back of my head right now. Okay, so let's put the other one back. This is the... I think this came with one of my other dongles. Well, I'm sure it did because it has this kind of mating connector. Oh, now I kick something else over. Alrighty.
Now we've uh, we've temporarily lost a lot of of uh, aircraft because it was disconnected for quite a while. So let's just give it a second to uh, capture some more data. Now the program I'm using uh, is a program that was set up for the R, uh, yeah, the Play One. It was set up for the Play One, and um, it uh, first you have to start this special version of Dump, Dump 1090. It's called special version for this setup, and then it opens this right here. That's the oh, and this is the next program you open, and once you get this open. Then you click on this, and that gives you the map uh, under Google Maps, plus all that other information. So I, I've had 111,000 messages received in the past, I'd say, 20 minutes. So the those two aircraft are not showing up. They were there on the RTL-SDR antenna. So we'll go back. That that the excuse me, that antenna that I'm using now, which is the other little short one, not short enough. I am getting that one aircraft over here. Whoops, it went away. There was an aircraft pretty far away over here. Again, depends on where the antenna is and all that stuff of which aircraft you're going to get first. So I've knocked over the RTL-SDR antenna so I can put it back where it was, try to, uh, my little foot there, there we go, okay, so it's back up and running now, and let's see what it pulls in, and then we'll call it quits, in general, it looked like it was doing a better job, now it should, from the standpoint, is that with the two legs collapsed that should be about a gigahertz match on the frequency. Okay, well, we got a one out here in a golf here. That's pretty far away. I don't see the one that was up in Spring Hill. Again, it may have taken me too long to get back to it, and now it's too far away. We'll give it a few more minutes and see what happens. And then, of course, you know, you can, like, rotate the antenna. You're going to get different results. W one thing I was going to try to do, I was going to try to use that suction cup mount and mount it on the window. That's close by where it is right now. But I thought, well, I'll just stick it up here on the tripod, see how it does. Now, it's approximately... Mm, let me uh, let me show you my capture software again, and let me see where. It, yeah, it's still pointing up there. So here is the tripod with the little antenna, and then down here, behind. It's funny, I can't even see where this thing is. Behind this lamp, I can move the lamp too early. Is the other antenna? It's right there. Don't know if it shows up in the uh, video or not. Okay. I'm trying. <laughs> Doing the best I can right here. Uh, we didn't get any um, aircraft north of us up at Spring Hill like I had before. You know, it takes, it takes me too long to switch back and forth. So. Oh, look at there. There's one. Oh, my gosh. Look at here. It's not there, actually. It's down here. Uh, wow, that's way up there. I say way up there from experience I've had with trying to track these aircraft. That's the furthest I've ever received an aircraft. That's up near Inverness, which I say is about 75 miles line of sight, uh, maybe a little more. I'm going to let it run here. Um, 
kind of bear with me. I'm just going to see how long it tracks that particular aircraft. And like I say, there's thousands of variables here. Uh, one of the variables is, uh, you know, weather conditions. It's pretty clear today. Uh, it's gone. I lost it. Another is, you know, what's the altitude of the aircraft? That's another thing. Now, we can look over here, and I lost that aircraft. We can see over here some of the parameters, like, for instance, altitude. So, oh, it came back. So, it says it's at 35,000 feet. That's directly from the ground underneath it up. It's not 35,000 feet from me. It's further than 35,000 from me. And it's cranking out at 419 knots. So that that could be helping from the standpoint it's high up on the horizon uh, above any trees. That's the other thing is um, trees will definitely affect reception in this band, way up to the gigahertz band. I applied for a receiver you can get a receiver and be a part of the network for i think it's called flightware 24 one of those two and the requirement is that you send them pictures around where the antenna would be and i have a bunch of tall trees and they said sorry your setup is not acceptable and i told them i'd cut them down not really but they turn me down. So, wow, I, I'm getting some aircraft like this one here. He is pretty far away from me, you know, ground wise. Whoops, I just lost him. So, if, if I could reach a conclusion, and of course, this is kind of kludgy, I would definitely say this antenna, the RTL STR.com antenna, using the two little short pieces is doing a better job than the antenna I had before, which is, let me do a little measurement here. Let's just do that. Now, the other antenna is just a straight vertical antenna. And it's, if I can find a measuring stick end, it is from the base to the tip Boy claps is six inches. Six inches is way too long for this frequency. Now the dipole has two legs, of course, and they are about three inches each. So if I understand how this works, the measurement is would be the three inches on one leg compared to the six inches on the single vertical antenna. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how good this testing was, um, but it was my attempt. Again, you can see I'm still on the uh, RTL-SDR.com antenna, and I'm still getting aircraft as far as 75 miles away. Now, like I say, if I was away from the trees, uh, outside, I could probably do a lot better. I've seen people track. Um, aircraft for about 250 miles. I have never gotten that far. Um, I can say this is this is bordering on 100 miles. That's that's much better than I've ever gotten. I've gotten typically hmm, maybe 60 miles. So that's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks, Carl, for sending me this antenna kit. And you can purchase one if you're interested out of my Amazon store. I think it's the first item in my Amazon store now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.